Dobroveche, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you follow me on Twitter or you're on Facebook, from time to time you'll see me post up jokes about Proma. And if you're not from the Balkans, specifically from the Yugoslavia region, you might be confused about what I'm talking about. But over the weekend, was it last Friday, last Saturday, whatever, I, I sent out a tweet about Pramaya and I did an identical Facebook status and somebody hit me up from London and was like, dude, what is Pramaya? I don't understand what this is about. I don't get the joke. So I thought, all right, cool. Do you know what? I'm going to explain what it is to you. Not only am I going to explain to you what it is to you, I'm going to give you the rules. But first, I'm going to explain what it is, right? And, wait, hold on. <laughs> Let me think about this for a second. What is Pramaya? I guess in English, Pramaya would be a draft. What could be so dangerous about a draft? Because this isn't any old draft. This is Pramaya. Okay, it's a killer. But don't be too scared. Don't be too worried. I'm going to give you some basic tips, quarter the rules, whatever you like, on how to avoid getting hit by Pramaya. Alright? So let's get into this. Rule number one. Rule number one, very simple. Winter time, you know what it's like. With them bitter winds outside, you really don't want Pramaya creeping into your house, right? Wherever you go, wherever you go into another room, close the door, close your doors, shut your windows. Very simple. Close your doors, shut your windows. You don't want that problem you're, you're sweeping around the doors, creaking through the, through the windows and nah. that. Do that, close the doors, close your windows. Problem is not gonna catch you. Simple, got it? Rule number two. When you do decide that you're gonna leave your house, make sure you've got your Pramaya protect on underneath your clothes now. What the hell is a Pramaya protect? I'm not just gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna show you. Exhibit A. It was simple, a vest. Make sure you got your vest on before you leave your yard. It was simple, man. Make sure you got your vest on. Now I know in certain places in London when you talk about, yeah, you, I've got, got my vest on, it's to protect you from them shanks. Maybe in some places in America when people talk about, yeah, man, I've got to put my vest on, it's to protect you from bullets. But former Yugoslavia, when you say you've got to put your vest on for protection, it's to protect you from Promaya, okay? Make sure you got your vest on. Simple. Do not leave your house without your vest. Rule number three. You might remember um, I did a video asking why are Bosnians scared of the rain. I've worked out for myself that I don't think it's that Bosnians are scared of the rain. When it rains you usually get a little bit of <sighs> Pramaya. Yeah, you get that, 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 that breeze. Right, so that's what it's all about. Carry your umbrella at all times. And if you don't have an umbrella or whatever, you forgot your umbrella, simple solution, right? When you go to the store, you pick up a newspaper. You know? Pick up a newspaper. Walk along, reading the newspaper. Oh, it's about to rain. Yeah, we fold it in two. There you go. A DIY Promare protector. Real simple. Umbrella, newspaper, sword. Rule number four. Now, when you go out, winter time, especially, you wait for buses or whatever, you want to sit down on the, the seats of the bus station, the bus stop, whatever, or you get these little walls, you know, in public areas, and you want to sit down. Do not sit on cold surface. Never sit on cold surface. And I will tell you how I discovered this, actually. I was in Zagreb, waiting for a tram. You got um, these little slabs, I don't know what you call them, there's like flags and whatever. You can sit on them, these little 
concrete walls but anyway there's a clock tower a little small clock tower it's got like a little concrete wall around it so i went down i was waiting for the tram i went to sit on it and this old lady came up to me and she's like nah, 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 nah. so i'm confused like what's, what's the problem so she's like got me to stand up and she had a box of fruit and she emptied out the fruit folded up the box put it down and then she's like, Mosh, Mosh, now you can sit. So I was like, wow, okay, what's that about? But now I know what it's about, because you don't want that pramaya to hit you. So let's imagine this chair here, right? This chair here, this is the bus stop or whatever, or this is the little wall that you want to sit down. You do not just sit down. No, wrong. I'll show you how you do it. So, you wanna sit down. Oh no, you might be thinking, I don't really carry cardboard boxes around with me, no problem. You know what comes in handy once again? That, uh, your newspaper. So here you go, you got your newspaper. Real simple, it was already folded by anyone, showing you again. Fold it, place it down. You got a nice space covered there. Now you're ready to sit down, you don't have to worry about Pramaya attacking you on your rear, simple. Now you sit down, you wait for the bus, Shit. So, there you go. Simple rules for Promet. So you follow these tips and you, and you can avoid getting hit by Promet. Trust me, do not underestimate this thing, right? It's a killer. I can't overstate that. So yeah, but no problems. No worries. If you follow these little guidelines, you'll be cool. And yeah, that's it. Video was it. Ciao.